crude oil WTI precisely reversing from close to $80 levels which I have mentioned several times is a very good resistance for now and it is now trading at 78.8 which is again a good support there. Likewise NG has traded uh, bullish throughout it failed to trade on the downside and recovered smartly and achieved higher highs till towards 26 2.68 levels. So what to expect today can we expect them to follow continue with the trend which we, it, they have shown yesterday and if yes which positions and at what levels you should take so that you can profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the daily analysis the next update will be released before the u.s session do was that also let's start first you look into oil followed with ng now look at the early charts for crude oil and you can find 77.8 levels so once again giving it a very good support and see this candle is now the complete journey is done even if it had some orders this is closed now see first point is it is still trading here in this bearish channel it is neither it is given a breakout on the upside and downside failed to sustain these levels though we had seen it going close to 81 failed to sustain those levels and it has failed dropped again so 80.6 i have told you multiple times that beyond which only further bullishness will be seen now look at near term levels here see first of all it is getting the support at 77.8 and these are definitely a very good support levels yes for the day a 78.8 sorry below that you can sell at 78.5 now because it is already trading close to 78.8 levels so i'll recommend you to uh, sell at 78.5 and probably below which we can again see it trading bearish which might take it till towards 78 77.4 remember 77.4 is the level below which only you can confirm that it will show further bearishness now see directional movement here is divergent and bearish stock is at bottom it is trying to recover a bit the MACD is divergent and bearish RSI is also looking down here also yes see first thing is look at previous three candles and this candle is trying to give a breakout so the reversal confirmation on this is only if it trades above 79.2 levels beyond which you can expect 79.5 and only if it trades above 79.6 levels 79.56 79.5 and 79.6 only if it trades above this you can confirm that it is trying to reverse a bit then you can expect 80 levels and beyond that may see bullishness till the time do not consider oil for a buy entry directional movement here is bearish stock as ticket bottom we had seen this now look at two hour charts yes MACD is divergent and bearish on the two hour charts also see one red candle couple of retracement then another red candle it is looking downwards possibly we may see either higher lows or the same levels it can try to attempt and achieve again see it is skewed on the downside possibly little more bearishness is seen you can sell at 78.5 expect 78 77.8 and 77.4 levels are the next targets directional movement divergent and bearish a stock is looking down the MACD is divergent and bearish here RSI is also looking down and if you look at the 3 hour charts now look at 3 hour charts see previous two candles and previous was almost a step there now it is trying to give you or it may give you the similar size of candle which is almost 0.4 dollars which means it can try to take it till towards 78.5 at and at those levels we will see how it behaves below 78.5 the next target should be at 78 and 77.4 levels 77.8 and 77.4 levels directional movement here is bearish too on the three hour charts stock is seen dropping the MACD is divergent and bearish it is looking down RSI is also looking down here and if you look at four hour charts on the four hour charts lower highs and this is a breakout this is the first red candle probably we may see subsequent red candles and only buy entry is above 79.2 but if you look at the four hour charts also you can see if you connect the dots from here you will find higher lows are seen higher highs are seen it is still trying to trade in its slightly bullish channel direction so once it breaks below the channel that is 77.4 77 levels then we can expect that it is going to trade further going to give you further bearishness directional movement here is on the sell side 
stochastic has seen a little recovery the MACD here is on the sell side this is divergent this is bearish this is looking down RSI looking down so on the 4 hour charts mostly it is indicative that probably we may see a little drop but then till 77.4 do not consider this as bearish here now look at the daily chart see this zone you can see 20 and 50 period moving average coming together here at 78 which makes it again a very strong support zone and on the upside see what we did see yesterday is lower highs lower lows so the complete movement is confined within this and possibly today if you see it trading above 79.2 yes you can buy but then expect 79.6 and 780 levels as the stronger resistance beyond that you can expect it to fly for 81 again that is one probability here next is see it is seen the high it is looking down so if it opens flat the new candle here on this chart is yet to start possibly once it opens below it may then again try to give you lower lows 77.4 certainly be a very good support there so yes you can sell here at 78.5 buy at 79.2 but then you have to be watchful till 80 only above which little more bullishness will be seen directional movement bullish trying to converge stochastic was overbought looking downside the MACD is in green see it is flattened the previous candle is rather of a smaller height here RSI is also trying to look down considering this in between 78.5 and 79.2 do not take any trade and if, on the downside till 77.4 do not consider this for a bearish breakout only below 77.4 for the bearishness will be seen and then it can accelerate till, to, till towards 76.5 76 and 75 levels you have to trade with caution here you have to trade with the trailing stop loss on the downside and on the upside till 81 levels now let's have a look at natural gas and yes before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you can join my mentorship batch the 20th batch starts in first week of march reserve your seats now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description now look at the early charts for ng see it has created a base here at 2.5 and with that as base we have seen a good rise here in fact it has achieved higher highs it has gone close to 2.66 it has breached went till towards 2.67 see once again if you see it trading about 2.66 you can stay long there and once again we can see 2.7 2.8 now remember one fact here is 2.8 and 3 levels these two levels only if ng breaches we can confirm that it is trying to reverse it is trying to trade bullish now also on the early charts higher lows are seen higher highs are seen here it is trying to trade in this see sharp drop then this moderately bullish channel and on the downside definitely 2.4 is is giving it a very good support now look at the early charts here for near term early charts and you can find couple of red candles then a retracement and then now, now again trying to look down the support zone concentrated here first at 2.6 and then 2.55 levels so yes breaking below 2.55 further bearishness will be seen and then we may see it hitting again 2.5 and below levels directional movement is bearish trying to con uh, bullish trying to converge a bit stochastic oversold the MACD is trying to cross over for a sell and this may bring little bears on the early charts RSI looking down and if you look at 2 hour now see one important aspect on the 2 hour charts you see it is trading in this bearish channel it was trading in this bearish channel for a little while this is for on the daily charts also this is applicable and after a while now it has come out of this channel here which means that yes it is trying to break out it is trying to trade bullish however now the second resistance comes which is at 2.8 and 2.7 and yes once it trades about 2.7 definitely we can see further rise we can see it showing extreme bullishness it can break past 2.8 also that is the second part now on the two hour charts it has created the base here at 2.5 and it is given a rally here higher highs are seen so possibly once you see it trading below 2.6 and rather 2.58 is the next and 2.55 is the next only below 2.55 it will show you little bearishness and then it will complete the journey here it can try to drop till towards 2.5 which is definitely a good support now see directional movement bullish trying to converge stochastic was overbought it has seen a little drop the MACD is in green trying to convert RSI trading near to the high points it is uh, dropped a bit 
and if you look at three hour, on the three hour charts couple of retracement candles higher lows and possibly below 2.6 we can see it trading till towards 2.58 2.55 levels below which only further bearishness will be seen it is trying to show you classical waves here rise retracement rise again a retracement higher lows are seen so possibly till the time today it trades about 2.5 years still we should not consider this bearish for the day but on the see on the upside most important i'll come to it when i'll be there on the daily chart so let's have a look here so yes you can initiate a sell and trade 2.6 but then you have to be watchful directional movement bullish stochastic overbought the macd is in green trying to converge rsi looking down here and if you look at four hour charts on the four hour charts still see first 2.4 it has created base we have seen this earlier or uh, that it has created a base at 2.4 multiple candles getting the support there now it is the next support level it has created is at 2.5 and with that is support see we have seen it rallying a bit here you can see this it is see shown considerable bullish candle and this candle is trying to break out so how far this can try to take it possibly 2.55 very good support 2.52 and 2.5 and only below which we can see it trading bearish it is still trading sideways in this box for a little while now that is 2.4 to 2.6 but the most important part is it trading outside this daily uh, bearish channel in which it was trading now we'll come to this on the daily charts directional movement is bullish trying to convert the stochastic is overbought looking the macd is in green here rsi is trying to look downwards and if you look at daily now see look at daily charts see, this was the bearish channel in which it was trading and after a while now it has come out of this channel yes it is getting the resistance from the 20 period moving average on the upside at around 2.7 levels also you can see the base here created in my weekly analysis also i told you the same thing that it has created the base here and it is trying to reverse the 2.4 certainly be a very good support for now and if you look at see one bullish candle and then couple of retracement candles and another bullish candle now this candle once it appears and new candle when it forms and if it trades beyond 2.66 and 2.7 if these two levels are taken certainly we may see 2.8 today and beyond that we can expect a little more rise still towards 2.93 levels so it may try to break these levels if it continues to trade bullish because see rise a bullish candle couple of retracement candle failing to sustain or break the lows of the previous candle and this candle possibly reversing again and hence second candle here can be certainly it may try to take it further up but then it has to break past 2.7 in order to sustain the bullishness so what you can do here is you can buy 2.66 expect 2.7 and beyond that we may see it rising for 2.8 levels and beyond that further bullishness will be seen and you can sell here at 2.6 but then on the downside 2.58 2.55 two very strong support levels and then below that 2.5 only and only if it trades below 2.5 then you can see further drop which might take it for 2.45 and 2.4 2.4 is the ultimate support below that you can expect a very sharp drop below 2.4 you can expect it to drop till towards 2.2 and below level so this time on the downside be watchful of 2.5 and 2.4 only below which you can consider it to trade bearish take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss join my mentorship badge join my signals group reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you